Hello guys, my name is Nathaniel Miller, and today I'm going to be talking to you about something called the Nine Point Circle. Also, it's known as Euler Circle or the Feuerbach Circle. So, what it is, is it is a circle that goes through nine significant points in a triangle. Um, it passes through the perpendicular feet dropped from the triangle's vertices or the base of the altitudes. Um, it passes the midpoints of the sides of the triangle and it also intersects the midpoints of the segments that join the orthocenter to the vertices. Its discovery is credited to Carl William Feuerbach. Um, he, although he kind of discovered it when he was using his, what he called a six-point circle, um, it was just shortly after him that Ulri Turquin added the midpoints between the orthocenter and the vertices and coined the phrase nine-point circle. So I'm going to be using GeoGebra through this whole process. I will show you how to make a nine-point circle using GeoGebra through two methods. Um, GeoGebra makes it insanely easy, so easy that you can literally pick any point to create it. And I'll just pick three points randomly. Then go to Polygon. And I'm going to form my triangle. And bam! There's our triangle. Alright, so the next step, the first thing we're going to do when we're trying to construct our nine point circles we want to find the midpoints between the sides so we'll go up to the second one over click the drop down go to midpoint or center and then like I said GeoGebra makes this way too easy all you do is click on a segment and it'll give you the exact midpoint for that line segment now we can hide these we need them but we don't need to, to see them right now so we could just click on the little dots on the side here, it'll hide them for you. The next thing we have to do is we have to find, construct the altitudes of the triangle. We do this by going to the fourth one over and clicking on the perpendicular line. Then you want to click on the vertices, the vertex, sorry, and the opposing side. And it'll give you a perpendicular line through the opposing side. You can also do this the other way where you click on the opposing side and the vertex. Either way you're going to get the same result. Next we're going to want to name that intersect point and the intersects of the, the perpendicular feet. So we'll do the perpendicular feet and all you do is you click on the second one over down the middle section there's an intersect but we don't need to see the perpendicular feet right now so we'll just hide those for right now just so it's less distractions what we do need to see is the intersect of these lines the ortho center alright so we have six points that belong on this circle our next step is we're going to need to find the midpoints between the orthocenter and the vertexes or ver vertices. We do that by going to the second one over, going to midpoint center. And then for this, we're not going to be able to just click. Since it's not a line segment, we can't just click on it. We're going to have to click point A to point J, point B to point J, point C. To point J. All right. Now we could take point J out, and we can remove the lines, the altitude lines. Okay. And really, we don't need A, B, or C either, so we can remove those. Now we're going to plug back in the midpoints for the sides, as well as the perpendicular feet. Now, like I said, GeoGebra makes this so easy. All you have to do is go up to the 
little circle symbol here. Click the drop down, circle through three points. I like to use the midpoints as my three points because I know it'll make the perfect circle. But as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points on this circle. Let me plug back in everything. I will just show you the significance to it. And that is the one way to construct a nine point circle. The next thing you want to do is let's hide this stuff again. Find the center to this nine point circle. So what we're going to do there is we are going to get rid of the perpendicular feet as well as the intersects or the midpoints from orthocenter to vertices and we are going to construct ourselves a mini triangle inside of the circle using the midpoints of <clears throat> the first triangle as the ends. Okay. Then we need to find the midpoints. So go to the top up there. The midpoints of these segments. And there it is. Finally we go to perpendicular line up here, go to the point itself, click, click again, click, click again, click, click again. Now go to intersect at the second and make a point for that intersect. Now hide these lines, point Q is the center of that circle. An easier way to have done this, let me hide the midpoints, I'll leave point Q. <clears throat> I'm going to hide the whole triangle in the middle. So let me add these back on. Those are, we plug back in our our midpoints for our orthocenter to vertices and we plug back in our perpendicular feet on the triangle. Now a much easier way to find the center of this triangle and here let me as a matter of fact let me hide Q is go to midpoint or center and you could pick two opposing points on this triangle and click it and we get R and as you can see here Q and R are the same point those that's just the easy way to, to find the center of the circle alright and now I'm going to demonstrate the second method of finding the nine point circle within a Triangle. Let's delete all of our usually delete works, but it's not exactly funny right now. Alright, so now again we're gonna need a triangle. I'm gonna pick any random spots I want. Alright, so the first step now to finding this is to go up to the top here, circle through three points, and to make a circle around the triangle. Then, and like I said, GeoGebra makes this way easy. All you do is go up to the top here where it says midpoint or center, click on the, that, and just click on the circle. And you found the center of the circle, or the circumcenter, for this triangle. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Next, you can really we can hide the circle. Really, all we're focused on is that that center of it. But next, we're gonna want to do the altitudes and find the ortho center for this. <clears throat> this one's pretty close. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> Then we're going to go to here, drop down menu to the intersect, and we're going to mark a point for that. And we're actually going to mark just one of the perpendicular feet, because that's all we need for this method. Then I'm going to hide these lines. Well, this is a neat thing about GeoGebra 2 is that you don't what you need to find for this second method is the midpoint between the ortho center and the circum center. And in GeoGebra, you don't actually need a line there for it to do that. You just click on the one point, click on the other point, and there it is, point G. Now what point G is going to be is the center of the nine-point circle. So what you're going to do is go to the top instead of a circle, with three points, you want circle with a center through a point. You're going to click on G and then bring it out to the one perpendicular foot. And what that's going to give you is your nine point circle. I can put back in the, the altitudes and we'll just do, I'll show you just on one side. A mid, the midpoint between is on the the midpoint of this is on the the midpoint of this and then we can kind of work backwards and show you the midpoints that fall on this line and even further into depth you could see the Intersect. Those are on basically on top of each other. Those two. But now hide the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Point N and J are basically almost right on top of each other. There's a little difference, but it just means the edge of the circles, basically on the edge of the triangle. And then all we used was the circumcenter and the orthocenter and the midpoint of those and one point on our triangle. And those are the two ways you can use GeoGebra to successfully display a nine point triangle. Um, thank you guys. Learning this was fun. I hope you enjoyed and good luck.